Model Guns in Japan Profiled by Lucifer7922 I answered the question posted in the comment section of Walter PPK. Please see the posted comments first. The contributor commented in Japanese. I wrote the whole sentence here without omitting it. Next, I translated the Japanese comment into English, but it is not a direct translation. I have changed the expression in my own way, but I think the content can be conveyed. Let's read it aloud. I bought an assembly kit for this model gun. However, when I pull the trigger and perform a double action action, the hammer stops halfway. I repeated disassembly and assembly several times, but it does not work properly. And finally the trigger bar broke. Do you know the cause? If you know, please tell me the cause. I think I'm assembling it correctly. Before giving my point of view, let's take a look at the notes attached to this product. This is also not abbreviated in Japanese, but the expression is changed in the translation into English. We would like to inform customers who bought PPK, PPKS and PP made by Marushin Industry. Marushin Industries PPK PPKS and PP are the most fragile models of our model guns. Frequent repetition of the following two actions will cause significant damage. 1. Double action, including when loading cap explosives. 2. Simulated shooting with single action and double action. Simulated shooting is an operation without loading a cartridge. Marushin Industries PPK, PPKS, and PP are small, so if you operate the spring of the hammer with double action, the trigger bar will easily deform and break down. This is because the model gun uses a material that does not have sufficient strength because it is strictly regulated by Japanese law, unlike the actual gun. For details, Please read the instruction manual before use. Manufacturers continue to make excuses with the law as a shield. It seems that toy gun makers have a tradition of excuse. It feels like a tradition of shame to me. Even though I say don't do it, my index finger pulls the trigger on its own. How about you, can you put up with it? Let's first use my PPK to observe the movement of the trigger, trigger bar, cocking piece, and hammer. Pay particular attention to the relationship between the cocking piece and the trigger bar.
The important point is that the trigger bar is pushed down by the retreat of the slide, and the tip of the trigger bar is moving around inside the small window of the cocking piece. By the way, it is quite difficult to identify what is causing the problem in PPK owned by the questioner this time. Because I can't see the real thing. However, the parts involved are limited, so let's check them step by step and find clues to the solution. I will list the parts that are suspected as the cause of the defect. 18. Hammer 19. Hammer lever spring 20. Hammer lever 21. Hammer strut pin 22. Hammer strut 23. Hammer spring 13. Uncocking lever 38. Hammer pin 15. Cocking piece 29. Cocking piece spring 12. Trigger bar 33. Trigger 34. Trigger spring Let's verify these parts in the order of assembly. The assembly order is 2 3 5 6 7 8 Since the adverse effect may extend to the barrel, let's also include 9. There are two Japanese versions of this video. After the first release, viewers reported a problem with the hammer. As a countermeasure, we measured the dimensions of the parts related to the hammer. However, there are few ordinary people who own calipers, so please use it as a reference. First, insert the hammer pin into the hammer and uncocking lever and check the movement. If it does not move smoothly here, do not proceed to the next process. Correct the mating holes for the hammer and uncocking lever. A drill bit is the best way to correct the fitting hole. Of course, you can use a drill. As we saw earlier, the outer diameter of the hammer pin is 3.94 millimeters. There should be no problem if the fitting holes for the hammer and uncocking lever are 4.0 mm or more. However, if it is too large, it will rattle, so use a 4.0 mm drill bit. I see people using round files to fix small holes. However, I do not use it except in special cases. This is because the hole diameter often becomes large. Also, the correct cylinder cannot be maintained. I do not know the circumstances of other countries. These tools are cheaply available in Japan these days. So I use it positively. If you have corrected the fitting holes for the hammer and uncocking lever but they do not move smoothly, suspect that the hammer pin is bent. Place the hammer pin on a flat, straight object. Roll it back and forth with your thumb. If the hammer pin is bent, you may feel something is wrong with your fingertips. If it's bent, rebending the zinc alloy is probably unreasonable and you have to give up and buy parts or correct the outer diameter. To correct the outer diameter, only the part where the hit occurs is removed, but the judgment is different in each case. Therefore, it is not possible to show a clear index here. Also, even if things go well, 
it is difficult to obtain the correct pin shape, and it is inevitable that rattling will occur. It will work in the short term, but considering the impact on other parts, I think it is desirable to replace the parts. For now, let's move on. Pay attention to the mounting direction of the hammer spring. This is the case when it is installed in the opposite direction. It does not get caught in the hammer strut and fall. If it is not installed correctly, it will interfere with the frame spacer and the correct movement will not be obtained. Check the mounting direction of the caulking piece spring. Is your caulking piece okay? After installing the caulking piece, check the movement. Is your trigger bar okay? Is your trigger spring too long? If you use it in the state of the left image, it will interfere with the barrel. As you can see, it is deeply digging. In this state, the trigger does not return and the hammer does not move. If you feel this phenomenon even a little, cut the tip of the trigger spring as shown in the image on the right. It is easier to connect the trigger bar and trigger by cocking the hammer. Of course, the hammer is dropped when inserting the trigger pin. Do not operate the trigger easily even after inserting the trigger pin. The connection between the trigger bar and the trigger can always come off. Handle with care until you cover the slide. It is effective to always hold it with your finger. Check the movement again here, but always hold the trigger bar with your left thumb. After assembling so far, pull out the magazine and cover it with the slide, and it is the final confirmation.
I concluded with the past test shooting scene. We hope that it will be a reference for the maintenance of PPK that you own. We will continue to answer viewers' questions and questions as much as possible. Thank you for watching until the end. See you soon. Goodbye.